Hi everybody, right today I'm, well we are building um, a Worcester factory building in OO, this is a low relief building, it, it, it's just been released so uh, you're the first to see it. My partner will be actually doing the construction and I'll be filming it, so we'll go on from there. Right, the first part is to uh, put the windows, through the windows to the windows reveal. Now for this we use PVA glue. If you move those big pieces out of the way, that's it. We'll get you some glue. So over here you can see that she's separated them. There's two sides of windows. So you've now got to put the brick reveals onto the back of the main building. Like so. So if you glue them down. I won't film while we're doing all this, but it's a bit obvious really. Right, you probably can't see there. We've actually done the top three reveals, which just give it a bit more of a 3D image. So we'll carry on with the rest. Right, so that's the uh, window reveals in. The next thing then is to fit the windows. Right, these windows actually line up with the reveals. So um, it should be pretty easy to get them level. She's using the glue very sparingly so it doesn't seep out the sides and stain the outer brickwork. With PVA you only need a small amount. Right, this is the last window being fitted. And then we should get... We'll turn it over and have a look. Yeah, with this being um, pre-coloured, so there's no painting involved here, this is how it comes. Right. The, the next part is just to fit the small extractor on the top. Again, this is uh, set back to give the 3D effect. So there we go. The next part's the door. The first part again of the door is fitting the reveal and then fitting the actual door behind it. It just gives that a bit of depth then. <laughs> so there we, there we go, if you can see it. That's better. So now, um, all we've got to do on the front is fit the actual piers, which gives it a bit more of a 3D effect. Mm -hmm. 
Again, to just put a small amount of glue down the middle of the piers, really. Again, so it doesn't squeeze out. If it does, it doesn't really matter because it does dry pretty invisible. Right, so now she's going to fit the piers. So there we go. So now it's just the sides and the roof. R right, what we've done with the sides is there is actually some brick paint which is on very thin card and the sides glue out on top. And what should be left is that small lip there we'll glue down this small lip here so what we're trying to do is hide any seam on the brickwork right so you can see the way these are glued with a little lip left over oh wrong way there we go Right, so we're now join the sides onto the front. So that's the first side, we're just having to hold it till it uh, goes off slightly. Right, so that's both the sides um, glued on. So obviously, now we have also got these brick pieces here. And they go along here, but I think we'll fit the roof before we fit them. Right, the last part of brick is again to hide the thing. There's two pieces. You put the thin brick on top of the, th the thick brick. It's not brick. It's just plain. That's your brick. So you put the thin thin brick on the thick brick. So there's the two pieces of cardboard side fitted. There's a little gap, but obviously you won't see that. And the coping stone can be fitted on next to keep everything square. So there we are. And we're just holding the bottom one till it's stuck. Now she's just gluing down to fit the curtain stones before she fits the roof. Right, so as you can see, we've now glued the curtain stones on. So all there is left to do is fit the roof. Right, we just dry fitted the roof just to see how it fits. And then we'll, uh, once everything else is set, I think then we'll stick it. I would glue the two roof sections together first. And then while it's still flexible, then glue it inside the building. So we've glued the centre of the roof together and we've put glue on the inside of the coping stones. And that should be it, we'll just leave that to set. Now we're just going over the final bit of glue, just so uh, it all stays together. 
Now the what we're going to use for the glazing is the bags that the uh, model came in. We're going to try gluing a bit of that. I mean, you can use acetate, anything really. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's the um, Worcester OO gauge build. If we just, can we just get that kind of like. As you see, it's kind of like seamless brickwork. So hopefully it will stay hidden. And we leave the sides bare so you can join it up to other factory units that we produce, or for an alley or something like that. So there we go. And that's taken roughly, I should say it's about a half an hour build, but it's very simple to build and effective on your layout. Well that's all for mod looks for this week. And hopefully we'll have another update shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.